Also tonight, testimony finally gets underway in the trial of Corey Bigsby. No doubt it'll be an emotional ride through this case for the court and jury. Bigsby is charged with the disappearance and death of his son Cody more than two years ago. First on the witness stand, the boy's mother, who offered her account of Cody's life. Down on your sides, Chris Horn joins us live from Hampton to continue our coverage. Chris? Yeah, Lana, we also heard testimony this afternoon from two police officers, the first ones to search for Cody back when he was reported missing by his father January of 2022. But it was explosive and emotional testimony from Cody's mother earlier in the day. Hampton police officers described when they first arrived. Hampton police officers described when they first arrived at the house on Ranelette Drive after Corey Bigsby had reported his son missing. Body cam video showed them talking with Bigsby, and he had mentioned the last time he saw Cody was when he put him to bed at 1 that morning. Officers searched the two-level townhouse, looking in cabinets, under beds, and even in a suitcase. They checked the room where the bed was that Cody had slept on. Dina Kareem and Corey Bigsby never married, but they had four kids in the span of three years, including a set of twins. She was shown a picture of Cody. She says it was the last picture she knows of him, and it was in June 2021, seven months before he went missing, taken at his twin brother's birthdays. The relationship ended in 2019, and a year later, she testified she had major health problems. Kareem agreed that Corey could have custody. She also testified that at first, Corey did not want custody of Cody, calling him a mama's boy. By that point, Kareem was living in Washington. They agreed on a handoff point for the children halfway between D.C. and Hampton. She testified that was the last time she ever saw any of her children prior to Cody's disappearance and that Corey refused to give her his home address in Hampton so she could visit. Kareem testified that Bigsby sent her an email in April 2021 saying, I need to bring Cody back to you. I don't want to severely hurt him. She testified Corey told her that Cody had been fondling his younger twin brothers, a story that Kareem did not believe herself. Defense attorney Curtis Brown asked her why she didn't investigate further to get a home address for Corey by going on the internet, which she said she did, and why she didn't call police when Corey made the alleged threat to harm Cody. Coming up tomorrow, a testimony from the seven-year-old older brother of Cody He'll testify remotely by video. It will be live, but it will not be in the courtroom. Meanwhile, the judge in this case, James Hawks, he says that this trial will spill over into next week because, remember, it took two full days to select a jury. Live in Hampton, Chris Horn, 10 in your side.